Hello YouTube, welcome to another Gadget Pilot video. Uh, in today's video, I will explain on uh, communicating with approach and uh, departure and sensor controllers and also I will be more, uh, I'll just say things in easy way on how to use flat following ILS approach and uh, radar vectors down to your destinations so for now uh, I just want to show you how things work in ATC and I hope uh, this time people will understand the purpose of this uh, tutorial okay uh, for to start with for example um, let's say I'm um, Flying from uh, San Clemente Airport, and I have. Oops, let me just fix my pen here. Get this uh, down. Okay, and. Okay, let's say I have a flight plan coming like this down to San Diego Airport, for example. Okay, let's say this is my route. And uh, before I start with uh, the communications, I would like to go ahead and start with as soon as I, I depart, then, then the tower will hand me over to departure frequency which will my for example so for departure and from there departure will will give me uh, things uh, to do for example like the departure handles departing aeroplanes from a few seconds after takeoff when tower transfers them up to 18,000 feet and after that will hang you over to uh, Santa which Santa uh, in route traffic over long range at altitude over 18,000 feet so this is Santa Okay, we'll give us uh, over 18,000 feet, for example, if I'm here, for example, and I'm 18,000, then departure will give, hand me over to center. I hope it uh, makes sense uh, until now, guys, and uh, after that, it's approach. If we're somewhere here, then center will give handers over to approach which handles incoming traffic to one or more airports so the approach handles might be handling this air this airport here okie dokie let's start now with flight following let me just move everything and I'll just leave my route Okay, uh, right guys, let's go back again and make a flight plan. See, like that. Right, uh, as flight following, as soon as we depart and you are transferred to uh, departure frequency, uh, you will let departure know what uh, you are doing. For example, if you set flight following uh, flight following is used uh, just to let them know the airport you departed and where you want to go and that you are using a flight plan you want to use your your flight plan down for example uh, let me let be more uh, specific on this uh, fact here flight following is when 
you would like the controller to know about you, about you, where you come from, where you are going, and potentially getting traffic advisories uh, to the airport. For example, you want to know what's going on to this airport as well, and but you also want to use your route down. Uh, a flat following is only is only allowed to be used, guys, when an airport is not busy. For example. I suggest you do not use flight following to go to uh, this airport today to San Diego as you can see there's traffic around and it's getting really busy at the airport it's different aircrafts going down and uh, it will make this uh, a bit uh, complicated if the the ATC handler or flat air of uh, departure or approach, for example, will allow you to use flight following. But let's say you're coming down this route here and you want to come like this, then flight, then the, then the controller, sorry, can. Uh, tell you to use a different heading or change altitude for example it can tell you to turn left heading whatsoever so you can go uh, so you don't go crashing on this aircraft and also can tell you uh, to climb or descend uh, I hope you guys understood the flight following flight following is your, is used by your own navigation uh, but the controller can tell you to change heading or altitude if an airport is bu busy like now uh, okay let's go and see flight uh, sorry ILS approach All right, guys. Uh, let's go ahead now and see uh, what is I when what is ILS approach and uh, why do we use ILS approach? Okay, uh, right. For now, ILS approach. We request will be request uh, for ATC to guard you from your current location. Let's say I'm here. For example, okay. So I'm there from a current location, and uh, will guide you to the to position to the ILS approach pad at the destination airport. So then ATC will help you get, for example, to runway two five will be our runway for landing. Will guide you to line up with the glide scope and down for landing okay there will be issue series of heading and altitude changes to take you to a 30 degrees interaction of course of the localizer typically below the glide scope once you are cleared for ILS make sure you maintain the assisted altitude and once you are crossing the localizer turn inbound Join the glide scope and follow the ILS down to the runway. This is what I said, guys, but I just made it uh, much easier to understand. So, then approach for ILS will the controller will help you go down until you uh, line up and you should be at uh, your appropriate. Uh, Altitude, for example, 2,500 feet for approach, and uh, let's say the airport here is at, for example, to line up is at 230 degrees, for example, guys. Then uh, the controller will get you in the right position. Uh, once we are on final, nearly on final, about here, then controller will uh, tell you to contact tower and that's when tower will uh, give you the clearance for landing 
and he's in charge from there. It's quite simple guys using ATC and uh, I can see some people online that uh, are having difficulties uh, using ATC and also if you're playing in, in, playgr in playground uh, there's some ATC users that do not know how to use uh, flight following radar vectors and uh, and f and all that so uh, it's good for it's really important for the ATC and pilots to know about this it, it will make things much more professional once once everyone's online and all that <clears throat> okay so this is all about ILS approach uh, now let's go ahead and see what radar vectors is used okay let's go ahead okay guys uh, back to see what uh, is radar vectors and when do we use radar vectors right radar vectors you can request it anytime you want and uh, any of the controllers for example you can ask from departure uh, center and approach so uh, you can use radar vectors anytime and what is radar vectors radar vectors is is something you will ask any of the controllers if you would like them to guide you to your destination and keep you clear of all other traffic as for flight following a controller might deny the request and ask you to fly to your destination with radar vectors the controller might ask you to maintain certain altitude and also will normally guide you to the heading that will take you straight to the airport and after that you may switch to tower and uh, tower will then issue your pardon entry instructions if you would like the vectors for an ILS approach you can request it anytime as you are using fly air radar vectors so for example guys the uh, let's say departure let's say here is departure departure frequency here for example is center and here is approach for example then uh, radar vectors as soon as you depart he will guide you here for example from here you, you will turn to center as for radar vectors again he will guide you down to approach for example and again hang you over to approach and then here you can ask for ILS approach down to uh, the airport. I hope this is clear guys and I'm trying to make this as simple as possible so everyone can understand the purpose of this video and uh, I will definitely make you will see this live uh, as well on um, as I'm playing online I will start off with different uh, I'll be making a video on radar vectors in ILS approach and also flight following I had a few videos of flight following on my channel uh, and this is how I won't make another one on flight following so you can go ahead and check the videos see on how we can how I use flight following that to an airport Right guys, uh, this is basically it of this tutorial. I hope you guys understood uh, the purpose of this uh, tutorial today. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment, contact, to comment uh, below, and I'll be more than happy to give to help you out. For now, see you guys later. Take care. Thank you very much for your time. Bye bye, guys.